Today I'm going to be showing you how to tie on a Booyah blade. Now I actually just recently purchased this um, spin bait from Boo the Booyah blade bait or the Boo Booyah bait company as you can see here. And this is all that it's going to come with. It just says Booyah blade on it. And on the back just gives you like a description of some of the different things. If you've never fished one of these before you might not know exactly where you're going to tie it on to. Like obviously there's no hook here at the top of the bait. You know there's no actual round spot here. It's just kind of up there. There's a spot over here. There's a couple of spots onto here where you could possibly tie it onto. So how do you know which one and where you're supposed to tie it? Well, that's why I'm creating this video, just to kind of give you a little bit of a heads up. So on this one, you're actually gonna tie it right up here at the top. I'd recommend using a cinch knot for that if you're not sure how to tie one of those. There are tons of YouTube videos that actually explain it, but essentially you're gonna to wanna to tie it right here at the top so that way it doesn't impede any of the movement of your blade at all as it goes through the water. One other thing I did wanna mention is that with this Booyah blade um, from Booyah Bait Company, you can actually put Put a trailer on it if you wish like some sort of plastic or grub or whatever here onto the blade if you want to make the profile a bit bigger you can also just fish it just like this if you're just kind of going with a lower profile it's always good to try it a couple of different ways try some different trailers on it you know depending on what you're fishing in and what what the day is what time of the year it is that sort of a thing but i just want to kind of point out exactly where to tie it as that can be difficult if you've never fished with one of these before